peers. It means that they have to pay attention to the bird of prey, but also they have to pay attention to the other relic goals. Some of the relic goals will attack their own, meaning that the same peers, they will actually attack the eggs and also the hatchlings. And today we also found an interesting scenario. Let's take a closer look here. Here we find three eggs. Why these eggs are lying here? We have these questions. Because at this place, it is not the perfect place for the breeding of the relic goals. For the relic goals, they should have hatched the eggs in the center of the lake. So why the nest is set up here? We also take these questions to the experts. There may be some possibilities. First of all, let's take a closer look on the eggs. So for these eggs, they're not perfect. Meaning that after the relic goes lay the eggs, this kind of eggs may have some defects. That's why the parents abandon these eggs. The second possibility is that for the adult relic goes, they lay eggs here. However, they cannot build a proper breeding nest. So maybe the relic goes have to move to the mid-lake islands and build another breeding nest. So these are the two possibilities. But um, we have to get more information from the experts about the breeding habits of the relic goals. So if you have any comments or questions, you can leave a message. So during these two days, I will take your questions to the experts. Maybe, and also we will take note of your questions and ask for the experts' advices. And we will continue to follow up on the latest situation of all of these Go X. As you can see, this the size of the X a little bit smaller than the X laid by the chickens. So you could see we have been observing all of these X. As of now, we found that there is no relic goals coming here to hatch the eggs. And for these three eggs, it has been laying here for around 10 days. So actually, it is not a smooth process for the relic goals to lay and hatch their eggs. They also encounter some difficulties and challenges. Now, I would like to read through your comments to see if there are any questions. All right, we have a question here. So she's asking how long it takes for the breeding season and how long it takes for a baby bird to hit the water. So it takes around 24 to 26 days for a baby bird coming out from the shell. So the hatching process is actually coming from the early May to late May, and some of the breeding season will last until June or July. All of this depends on the weather condition. If the temperature is very high, it may be conducive for the hatching process, but it does not mean the higher the better. We have to make sure that the temperature of the breeding nest is permanent and lasting. And the other question is about um, how long it takes for a baby bird to heat the water. So I believe it takes around one week for a hatchling to heat the water, but some of the hatchlings, it may take them around half a month. And all of these baby birds need to learn how to step out of the nest and uh, how to find food on their own. So in July and August, they will actually move towards north together with their parents.
And some viewers also saying that there may be some rally girls in Tianjin. That's right. Uh, actually, some of the rally girls are found in the Bohai Bay. And in summer, these rally girls will move to the northern area to lay eggs. Just as this year, we have found a large population of rally girls in the Inner Mongolia. And some of the um, rally girls, they will choose their breeding site in Kazakhstan and also other regions. Please raise more questions. Currently, um, we are at the um, Wuxing Banner in the Inner Mongolia Auto Autonomous Region. Now you can see we have set up a meat lake island to observe the hatchlings. So currently, we have over a thousand relic goals in this area. According to our observation, in total, we have around like 3,000 relic goals identified in this area. So all of the breeding season is coming to a peak. Let's see if we have more questions here. And another question coming. They're asking what is the temperature requirement for the breeding. And actually, this time for the asper, they have not yet come to the island to check the temperature of the breeding nest. But according to our observation, for all the hatching process, it requires the joint effort of the male bird and the female bird. So they have to do it constantly in order to hatch a baby bird. So of course, there is a temperature requirement for the breeding nest, but we need some scientific proof. This time around, we have not yet got some exact data. Probably later, we will ask for the expert to get a temperature for the breeding nest. Probably the temperature will raise up to 20 Celsius degree or 30 Celsius degree. But for the hatching process, you could see all of these relic goals, they are in the moving position. They have to make sure that all of the shell and the eggs are heated properly. So another question is that um, when the hatching process started, so as I have just mentioned, the hatching process and the breeding season starts from early May. So for this year, the breeding season starts from May the 3rd. And for the hatching, it will end 24, 25 years later. So now we are actually experiencing the uh, hatching process. Actually, on the 20th of this May, the temperature is perfect, and we also asked some of the uh, devices from the experts here. And this year, the hatching process is actually earlier, come earlier compared to last year. And in this region, the hatching should have happened in early June or July. But this year, as the temperature is higher, especially in, in the western region, and we would say the uh, hatching process has actually moving earlier compared to last year. So the hatching process and the breeding process starts from May the 3rd. We have, have another question. So how can we identify the male bird and the female bird. If we just look at the appearance, it is very difficult for us to tell the difference. According to the experts, we have to identify the remains of the rally girls to identify the gender of the girls. So if we just look at them by appearance, it's very difficult to tell the differences. And other question coming, they're asking whether they have any enemies. How do these relic girls to protect their hatchlings? Actually, there are limited 
animals for these birds. So in the grasslands, they may have some bird of prey or peri eagle. So some of these like, bird of prey will attack their hatchlings. But we also have to pay attention to other type of gulls and other species, or even the same species, for example, the brown head gulls or the verde gulls itself, they will attack the hatchlings. Because of the time limitation, and we will bring you more uh, next time. And uh, this time, we just give you a flavor about the breeding season of the relic gulls. We have been staying here from April. In about uh, 10 days, we have observed all of the breeding uh, habits of the relic gulls. So maybe in the end, uh, we can take a look on our footage.